Yo, what's up guys? I'm video and today, man, coming at y'all with some more NBA breaking news. So today we have a video from Woj and the tweet reads, after retiring with heart concerns five months ago, seven-time All-Star Lamarcus Aldridge is returning on a one-year $2.6 million deal with the Brooklyn Nets. His agent tells ESPN, obviously this was going to happen. Obviously, as soon as we heard that LA was medically clear we knew that he was gonna return to the brooklyn nets okay because he actually looked pretty good last year with the nets before he had to eventually retire because of his heart concerns but thankfully now he's fully healthy and i hope that this process goes well for la and i hope nothing but the best for the rest of his career and hope that his health concerns do get better as things go on so yeah yeah la's returning like i said to the nets and I would assume that he would be their backup center. So this makes, I guess, what? Nicholas Claxton. This makes De'Ron Sharp pretty much expendable because they obviously would play him because he actually played pretty well for them last year. He spaced the floor, he rebounded, and he played the center position pretty well before they went out and got Blake Griffin. So I think that they will start Blake Griffin and make their backup center um, LA. I feel like you run the center more than power forward because they got Paul Millsap and they got Seiko Dumboya. And when you get those two players, you don't really want to bench them, especially Dumboya. You don't want to um, hinder the rest of his career because you need to actually give him time so he can improve on his game. And with Paul Millsap, you just signed him recently to play power forward. And I don't see Paul Millsap being a third string power forward. So that's what I'm saying. That LA probably will be the backup center for the Nets. Maybe we. Maybe even the starting center, who knows? I doubt they would bench Lake Griffin though, honestly, but honestly, who knows, okay? So yeah, like I said, Nicholas Claxton, Dayron Sharp, y'all, in my opinion, I feel like y'all are now expendable on this team. And I like, almost um, his name, Claxton. He's a pretty good defender, but I guess maybe him and LA will split um, center minutes behind the um, Lake Griffin. And Dayron Sharp, I don't know where you're going to play at all. I know you were late round pick, but I don't know where you're going to play on this team at all. This team has just way too many power forwards and centers. They have way too many big men. And I think Wolves just tweeted up as well that because they have so many big men, they had to uh, wave a Lee Johnson, who they actually liked, okay? But they're just so loaded at power forward and center that they had to let him go. And uh, they let him go. And with, their, and with his roster spot, they went ahead and re-signed LaMarcus Aldridge. Wow. As we all knew, man, this was obviously going to happen. But wow, man, this is this is actually incredible. And then Wolf says, Aldridge has been medically cleared by a number of doctors, including both those independent and Nets affiliated, to make a return for his 16th season. And like I said, I'm hoping for nothing but the best for LaMarcus Aldridge. I feel like if the Nets win a ring this year, LA will retire, okay? I feel like LA wanted to come back because he wanted to win a ring. I feel like if LA and the Nets won a ring last year, even though he didn't play at the end because he got um he had to abruptly retire, I don't know if LA would have came back if he got a ring from the Nets this season, okay? But I feel like LA is on a vengeance and on a mission to win a ring, so I feel like until he gets a ring with the Brooklyn Nets, I feel like he will keep playing. But who knows? He might win a ring this year and come back for his 17th season. At this point, who knows? Like I said, hoping for nothing but the best. Hoping that none of this, um, that none of these health problems actually hinder his game and actually something bad happens on the court because that would be absolutely just horrible to happen, man. Here is somebody right here with projection for the Nets uh, lineup right now. Okay, Kyrie, Patty Mills. James Harden, Bruce Brown, Thomas, Durant, Harris, Sekou. Okay, this is where I don't agree with it at all because KD runs power forward. Joe Harris is the starting small forward. You are not going to go ahead and bench Joe Harris. I know he played horrible in both the Celtics and the Bucks series, but he is the second best shooter in basketball, so you will not bench him, okay? The lineup will be Kyrie Irving at the at the two actually, because James Harden runs the one. It'll be James Harden at the one, Kyrie at the two, Joe Harris at the three, Katie at the four, and at the five, either or of Millsap and Lamarcus Aldridge. Okay, but yeah, I actually feel bad for Ricky Daron Sharp because, like I said, he basically now is expendable. You took him in the late first round. I guess you can learn a little bit from LA, Paul Millsap. 
and once they um leave the team i guess he can take over for them at the backup power forward or the backup center position which i think he'll run probably presumably center so i guess why not but yeah like i said i do not see them benching joe harris okay and no that's just not happening at all okay that is just not happening at all but yeah man uh how do y'all feel about this move right here nets fans how are y'all feeling about this and late's coming back for y'all on a one year 2.6 million dollar deal but other than that yo that is gonna be said go down below drop a like comment down below what are your guys initial thoughts on this move but like i said y'all that is the video make sure to subscribe to the channel hope you guys did enjoy the video see your boy john and i'm out man peace